Hello everyone. This is coadb.com or the Coat of Arms database. And today we're briefly going to discuss 15 different coats of arms in the Cook family. The first to discuss is blazoned Azure on a Fess between three wolves heads erased argent collared gules studded ore, a fleur-de-lis between two crescents of the third. Crest, a demi-wolf argent, collared gules, studded ore, holding in the dexter paw, a fleur-de-lis of the last. This was the coat of arms of Sir Samuel Cook, the Lord Mayor of Dublin, Ireland, from 1712 to 1714. Next, per pale azure and gules, three eagles displayed in armed ore, goosey de poi, each having about his neck a collar sable, crest, an eagle displayed ore, goosey de poi, armed sable, having about his neck a like collar. This coat of arms was found in Kingsthorpe County, Northampton. It was granted in 1711 to the surviving issue of Francis Cook of Kingsthorpe. And here we see some information about the actual grant of arms. And this was requested by his daughter, Lady Sarah Pritchard. Next we have sable a sphere ore between two mullets in pale argent. This was the coat of arms of Captain James Cook, born 1728, the explorer, navigator, and captain in the Royal Navy who made voyages to Australia, New Zealand, and Hawaii. He was the son of James Cook of Ednam in Roxburghshire, Scotland, who was a farm laborer. The coat of arms was granted by King George III to Cook's widow in 1785 to be borne by his descendants and placed on any monuments or otherwise to his memory. It incorporates a globe centered on the Pacific Ocean with two polar stars. And here we see a watercolor that has some more uh, elaborate version of the coat of arms with the crest. And here we see an oil painting of Captain James Cook. Next, gules, three crescents in fess within two bariolets or between three wool packs, two and one argent. Crest, a caduceus fessways proper in front, a demi-eagle cooped azure. This was found in Brooklands and Blackheath Park in County Kent. Azure on a chevron engrailed argent, two chevronels or, and three cinquefoils pierced ermine, two lions combatant purpur. This was the coat of arms of Thomas Cook of Tanton, the daughter of Alice who married Thomas Metcalf gentleman and goldsmith of London, England. Or a chevron between two lions passant garden sable crest, a demi-lion passant garden sable ducally gorged ore. This was found in Northumberland and Yorkshire and was confirmed in the year 1635. Next we have or a chevron gules between two lions passant garden sable. Crest, out of a mural crown argent, a demi-lion garden, issuant sable, gorged with a ducal coronet or. The Cook Baronetcy of Wheatley Hall in the county of York was created in the baronetage of England 
on May 10, 1661, for George Cook in recognition of his father's service during the English Civil War. And here we see a wall monument to Sir George Cook, first baronet. Next, we have Ermine on a Ben Cotis Sable, three cats passant garden ore. Crest, a demi cat rampant garden ore, holding an oak branch vert, fruit of the first. This was found in County Devon and in Tree Rice, County Cornwall, England, during the visitation, recorded in the visitation of that county in 1620. John Cook of Tree Rice County, Cornwall, England, was a member of Parliament for a constituency called Lost Withiel, and he was likely the son of Christopher Cook of Thorn, Devon. The next is blazoned, per pale argent and sable, three griffin's heads erased and counterchanged each charged on the neck with a bar gamel. Crest, a griffin's head as in the arms. William Cook Esquire of Lincoln's Inn was a native of Cork, and he wrote a book titled A Compendious System of the Bankrupt Laws. Next we have gules on a fess or three trifoils are Azure in chief, a lion passant argent. This coat of arms was that of William Cook, the first baronet of Broom Hall, born in the year 1600, the son of William Cook and Mary Shelton. He had two sons, William and Thomas, and daughters, Anita, Mary, Francis, and Elizabeth, and his family was seated at Broom Hall. Next we have or a chevron componing gules and azure between three sinkyfoils of the third. Sir Thomas Cook, who died in 1478, was the son of Robert Cook of Lavenham, Suffolk, and Sir Thomas was the Sheriff of London and the Lord Mayor of London in 1462 and was knighted several years later, and he began construction on Gidea or Gidea Hall. Next we have Peen on an Azure, on a Chief Azure, a Griffin Passant Argent Crest, a Leopard's Head Erased Peen. This coat of arms was that of granted to Samuel Cook in the year 1635 of Tinnerani County, Kilkenny, Ireland. Now Samuel Cook was the son and heir of Erasmus Cook, who was in turn the eldest son and heir of Erasmus Cook, Esquire of St. Edmundsbury, County Suffolk, who descended from the Cooks, who were the ancient owners of the manor of Ubiston or Upston. Next we have Gules, three crescents argent, on a canton of the last, a falcon close of the first. This came from the funeral entry of Dr. Edward Cook, the son of Alan Cook Esquire, who died in 1667 and was buried in St. Patrick's Cathedral. And lastly, we have Berry of Six Argent and Azure in Chief Three Annulets Gules. This was the coat of arms of Sir Richard Cook, the Principal Secretary and Chancellor of the Exchequer in Ireland, son of William, and Richard married Anne Peyton, and he was an Auditor of War, and he died in 1616. And we know he had sons William, Peyton, and Walsingham. If you enjoyed this video, please visit coadb.com and click on the link up top that says Genealogy Research. As you learned in this video, 
one surname can have tons of different coats of arms associated with it. So don't just pick any old coats of arm that has your surname on it. We piece together your family tree to determine which, if any coat of arms, belonged to your ancestors. Thank you.